so it's been a little while, but it's about time we checked in for another alcohol-free Thursday and the second of our bumper Bristol collabs, as we've another from Wiper and True, as they give a little helping hand to once stalwart of the scene, Magic Rock, for something of a fresh start. Using ingredients at the height of their seasonal best to create a low ABV with high flavours. A goad that's a real thirst quencher and perfect for the days ahead. And in fact, for days like today, brewed with blood orange and mandarin, with added colour from hibiscus and beetroot powder, with just a little rye to create a beer that's sharp, spritzy, and refreshing as fuck, evoking that fresh start feeling of the coming summer. It pours with a lovely blood orange colour, with huge grapefruit aromas, and mighty mandarin notes right off the bat. And yes, we are all very aware of Magic Rock's downfall over the last couple of years, so it is safe to say I am a little on the fence as to what to expect with this one. But as that last Wiper and True Sour was so damn good, I've kind of got a little glimmer of hope for something special here. But either way, it should be just what the doctor ordered for these balmy yet beautiful evenings we've been having. So I'm already a little hot and sweaty. So let's get refreshed. Let's get pouring. So you are getting that blood orange and some of that grapefruit right up top. It is real citrusy. You've almost got a lemon sherbet-y feel to it. And it does almost have a hint of sweetness and a little tartness too. And in fact, an almost subtle floral note in there as well. So it is that sweet orange and mandarin that really dominates up top. And they do almost blend into a sweet fruity note with an ever subtle soft sherbet -y finish. And it does have an ever subtle lick of the classic salty goes. So it is pretty heavy on that carbonation side is giving the brew a real airy feel and a noticeable kick of carbonic acid. And as far as AF beers go, it is definitely one of the more flavorful ones. And it must be said, there is an ever so subtle tartness in the back ends, but it is very much overpowered by those sweeter notes. Even that sherbet-y note is a little more like icing sugar than sherbet. But it must be said, some of those sweeter notes are starting to dissipate, and some of those more citrusy notes like lemon and grapefruit are starting to make a little bit more of an appearance. We've now got something of a bitterness in that finish now to go with it. But it must be said, it has been lively and it has been very refreshing. And now we're down into the final third. It's gotta be said, it's definitely a whole heap better than I'd actually been expecting. Possibly a little sweeter than I've been expecting too. As although that blood orange and that mandarin lead things off, it's more a sweet berry, almost jam-like note that really starts to dominate the brew. There is some subtle tartness, a little kick of that lemon sherbet, and of course, a little salty kick. It is still something that's a little more akin to a sweet fruity beer, or even one of those fruity ciders than an actual classic goes. But to be fair to it, it does have some kind of development as you work your way down, as those citrus notes do start to impart some bittering qualities giving the brew a more refreshing and uplifting feel. And in those middles, you're also 
question of getting a floral, some of that hibiscus really starting to shine through. And at times you can almost forget that it's an AF brew. Yes, it had some real lively carbonation early on, which definitely gave the beer a real airy and carbonic acid tinge. But as those carbs fade away, something of a body does start to develop. And you could be forgiven for thinking you were drinking something of an actual brew. Albeit, again, a real sugary sweet one. But if you are looking for an alternative on a beautiful summer's day, you could do far worse. 